Removing the background from a complex image in Silhouette Studio can be tricky, but it's not impossible. Today we're looking at all of the steps you need to take to remove any pieces of any image that you don't want in your cut file. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette, and you found your way to Silhouette Success. I do hope that you're going to join our little community. Just hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell so that you can stay in the loop. I'm working with this image today. I did get it from Creative Fabrica, and as you can see, it is a very complex image. There are a ton of different colors, there's a lot of shading, and the image almost blends into the background. I did try the trace panel first, and you can see that the results are less than desirable. I adjusted the threshold, I tried working with the high pass and the low pass, but it still was not coming out the way I wanted it. I decided to cheat just a little bit and try an online background remover, and that was slightly better, but it's still not what I'm looking for. I just want the cows. So I went back to Silhouette Studio and decided to use the eraser and editing points to get the image that I was looking for. The first thing I'm going to do is grab the eraser tool and just run around the outline. This does not have to be exact. We're just removing the excess here and creating an outline that is somewhat close to what we want so that there are plenty of editing points in our cut line. We're going to get rid of the background that we just cut away with our eraser tool and now we have just the part that we want to work with. If we double click on that, it's going to bring up the editing points. Every traced shape, every cut line, every SVG or silhouette file has nodes. That's those little gray dots along the outline. And you can move these manually by clicking and dragging to tweak your shape a little bit. You select one node at a time, and when that's selected, you can move that around. You can bring it further or closer away from the edge of the image. Now, when that point is selected, the adjoining line turns red, meaning it's ready to be adjusted. In the Editing Points panel, you can choose to make that line either straight or curved so that you get more control over your shape. Now, let's take a look at the blue squares. They control the angles and curves. You can click and drag them to fine tune how your shape bends. Now back to the nodes for just a minute. Sometimes you want a, a smooth transition with your node and sometimes you want more of a corner. And you can adjust that in this panel as well. You can either click smooth or corner and that's going to affect the way you can adjust the little blue squares. Now, if there's any part of your design where you have too many editing points, you can go through and delete them individually. If there's a part of your image where there are not enough editing points, you can simply click on the line and it will create more. Being able to use editing points in Silhouette Studio is super helpful, but it does take a little bit of practice. I highly recommend that you start with simple shapes. Try a circle and a square so that you can see how different lines and angles work in the editing point panel. And we're gonna recap real quick so you know everything you need to know about the editing points. Every shape is made up of points. These control your outline. If you have too many points, you're going to delete the extras for a cleaner shape. You can click and drag points to reposition them manually. Hold the shift key to move multiple points at one time. When a point is selected, the adjoining line turns red. That line can be changed to straight or curved using the editing points panel. Use the blue square handles to adjust angles and curves. Just click and drag for precise tweaks. You can click on a point to convert it to a corner or smooth in the editing point panel, depending on the shape you need. You can break a path to separate a shape into multiple pieces. And this is great for modifying trace designs. Simplify is going to reduce excess points and make cutting faster and cleaner. You have to get in your software and play around with this tool. 
I can tell you how to do it all day long, but it really is something that you have to practice at. So next time your trace tool doesn't quite get the job done, grab your eraser, fine tune that with your editing points, take full control over your cut lines. Now I went through this whole process and adjusted each and every one of these editing points until I had just the outline I was looking for. I ended up with a clean cut file with just the parts that I wanted to keep. Now remember, the best place to get your questions answered is in the Silhouette Success Facebook group. It's the easiest place to have a conversation. Now go create something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.